Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm Raihan, and today uh, you're listening to Code of Gas. So in this session, we already bring another special guest. Uh, we met at the IGS conference, so it's been a long time. So uh, without any further ado, let's call him. Hello, Sandeep, how are you? Yeah, hi, Rehan. I'm doing good. How about you? <laughs> uh, good, good, good. Oh my God, it's throwing me back. We explored in Singapore. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, it's uh, almost one and a half month, but still we are into the same memories. It's good to meet you and uh, <laughs> nice sharing of learning. Yeah. And also on the personal point of view, we explored uh, Singapore well. Right. That's nice. Yeah, yeah, so nice. So maybe you, you can introduce first yourself to the quite uh, a friends out there okay okay uh, yeah hello everyone um, myself sandeep kabalwai i'm from india uh, specifically on the southern part of india and yeah i was into like uh, it industry for almost around uh, close to eight years and uh, yeah, I've been uh, more majorly working into front end. I've uh, been working into started my career with uh, like using jQuery and a uh, few part of JavaScript because I started my career at the time where the React is getting into the boom. It was like uh, my education was done in the year 2015. So it was very less often companies started using to then like all this. And uh, I was work I started my career as a web developer. And uh, there I have started working as into HTML, more into like into PHP, some something, some part on the mm -hmm. PHP and uh, and uh, mostly jQuery uh, to have handle the JavaScript simulations and everything. So that there I have worked for around three years and then I move to a service based company. And then that is the place I have started my experience more into front end. Uh, I say it's like I started using React and I started with React 15 version. And yeah, then that, that was continued till my, I have worked into banking. I worked for Wells Fargo for uh, two years. And then there I have worked into uh, React more oftenly. And with uh, the good thing that I have got is like, I have been very much uh, grown there as like uh, into arc being into more architecture point of view and uh, i got a very because since it's a bank it is very compliance to its uh, code quality and everything so people who i i spent more time writing my code for components mm -hmm. than writing my writing my unit test there because that is the most part, tricky part and like this is the yeah. most thing that we used to do so yeah that that continued my journey till uh, uh, other company and uh, i'm currently Working into uh, majorly, I mean, I'm currently working into a new company, which is uh, we are into supply chain platform. So I uh, we we I work at a company called uh, AP Molar Mask. If you heard about uh, uh, container shipping, so yeah. we are uh, one, we are one of the uh, primary uh, one into uh, some like uh, uh, supply chain platform who deals with uh, container shipment. So here I my major my major role is into VOJS and. Uh, um, like 80% is into VOJS and uh, like still I have some, uh, I feel uh, I feel working into React, but I do have a, a old application which works on React. So I, I, I'm also enjoying the VOJS. It is like, uh, it's quite uh, e easy and adaptable because you can be for those people who worked into React libraries, it is uh, easy to adapt the uh, VOJS. So that's, that's my journey uh, currently and uh, I'm exploring into a few other parts into like a Node.js and a GraphQL uh, more into front end. And yeah, I was also like worked into the accessibility part and uh, before I was you know, into banking and uh, accessibility was a major concern there. And so I, I enjoyed it and I thoroughly, I like I coded and I also do, I have done the uh, kind of testing with uh, NVIDIA and it is like quite enjoying and uh, that's the place I think uh, I found your talk is very interesting and it was like I learned a lot of things uh, from the talk that you uh, uh, provided. Yeah. So I think that was a. I think I should take the few things from my from there from your talk. It is nice. Yeah. 
Yeah, I was also interesting about the testing that you brought in the IGS uh, last year uh, in Singapore. Right. So, mm, yeah. uh, what do you think about the uh, unit testing? I mean, in the in general. Yeah. So there's a there's a myth. Ah, uh, myth. I can say it's like uh, unit testing is like a uh, major concern because uh, rather rather than because you need to rather than you write an end to end testing. It's like for every application that you do, uh, the kind of testing is mandatory, right? Without that, you cannot ship your code. So the, when you say the testing, it might be uh, manual testing, but it is not always helpful. Why? Because if you want to do end-to-end -end testing on day by day, it is going to be involved into a lot of tasks, right? So that is why uh, you have an uh, testing uh, methodologies like unit testing, integration, and uh, automation testing. So it depends upon your use case, and it's like if I if you ask me, uh, two major things which I I, I feel is like I have been experienced in my current uh, role and uh, been experiencing it now. Uh, so automation is one of the main, Thing that you can you have to see because one is like you write your components but you can test your piece of code whether it's working the component is right but at the end you also need to sh ship your components together right so which becomes your application and um, that's a block of codes combined to your whole application and uh, there you need to have automation test and uh, uh, if you if I talk a bit more about automation testing you can run your automation tests on uh, every day by day to test how your application is behaving and uh, if anything is failing you have to fix that 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 reduces a person who is doing a manual effort but at the same time uh, giving an equal opportunity to unit testing before you implement or before you write on a component uh, that is uh, that is one of the things so how we used to follow and how i am mean, like is the best practice i say it's like Maybe I I feel considering everyone works in an agile way uh, in a company for these days companies for wanted to follow that agile right so if you want to implement so agile methodology is very important to whether you are in a scrum or whether you are an individual developer or anything so if you are working on any user story or any functionality you create it with a recipes recipes as in like what parts that you need whether you code for a UI and uh, unit test and uh, then uh, automation test so you can write your steps how your code should functionality and your ui should functionality and basing on that uh, you before you start a component i would recommend to have a snippet of the code from the unit testing point of view and uh, there you can start your uh, because the more you know the comp unit testing point the more you write you can write your component code easily that's what i believe and uh, because there are but more majority of us including me i have done a kind of uh big beginning of my stages or in the mid role of when i'm in the mid role i used to write my component code and then i used to write unit testing which everyone does which is also fine but um the best recommendation of people like from not just from me but it is like advisable from the uh, community uh, community point of view it's always you have to write your unit test first and then you can go with your uh, core flow from the component so whether you uh, irrespective of whether you use any component or library sorry any libraries but this is for basic steps which we have to uh, go ahead to start with any uh, uh, betterment of our unit tests or Test, testing type cycle in our application yeah so uh like you know testing it's do you think like uh black box testing is just enough for testing the ui component just click that or we should also like we need to also implement the white box testing it's it, that, that way which is the unit testing is included the part, uh, white box like so what do you think about that yes uh yeah it is uh, I would say it is both are needed because the more you do in the unit testing, uh, the lesser you put efforts in automations. How I how you can say is like if you write a component, you write a styles and you write your okay. um, state variables or whatever like you need. Uh, if you are using any store or anything, but in your unit test, you have to uh, think about which uh, uh, which simple like example you click on a button and that 
you that emits an action or that calls to a particular store method or actions right so these are the main things that you have to focus which is comes in the black box testing but like you might also have a uh, conditional styles or anything based upon any clicks on that 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 i feel like you have to uh, take care of that in the automation because it's 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 going to be a kind of uh, kubasam if you want to write with that because rather than because in automation test these uh like you can write you can find uh, with a uh, element level and in the browser level how your dom renders so it will be an easy to do but here it is like kind of tricky and uh, if you want to mock a component which is easy to do here from the unit test so that's i feel like you have to uh, balance between uh, white box and uh, black box testing whenever uh, you you want to do with that testing exactly yeah, yeah, I agreed. I mean, like, uh, do you have like resource to learn about the unit testing, something like that, or what's your recommendation for uh, tools that they can use for unit testing or testing in general? Uh, yeah, to me, I I mostly follow in the like the actual documentation library. Although it feel, I I feel it is like sometimes it is uh, harder to read, but if you start using it you will get to yeah. know but it, it, is, it is like that is a one thing and other choice that i see is about is like uh, going through any medium documents or uh, like i i used to i'm a uh, regular reader on the blog rocket so uh, I, I used to uh, get my resources uh, like get my get my time spent on the log rocket or like uh actual documentation on the views or like view utils or react utilities like this so, so i spend there so that's a that is the best thing because you get the main source of information there and you whether you notice from the medium or anything it's the same source you get the information from uh, exactly we can find I, so many i also sources. sorry yeah, yeah i also see uh, you can if if you are a uh, if you are a kind of person who don't want to uh, spend a lot of time, I would recommend to you go with a cheat sheet. You can find uh, in any way. So you can, that is an easiest way to get uh, mm. the things done. Yeah. So that is that is one of the things I, I, uh, I prefer sometimes. All right. So play rate, like uh, the tools that you uh, bring in the IGS, right? That you... Right. Yeah. And the other, the other things that we all always skip about the unit testing is, uh, you know, it's always we we not always cover everything in the unit testing, right? So the business right. logic is always changing. So should we also put uh, the test first, or should we program the logic first? What do you think? Which one is really uh, best on your experience? okay so yeah that's a, that's a good question which is which everyone uh, like uh, gets into this one right yeah. so if you are dealing with a lot of logic in your front end uh, ideally uh, so in that case you have to write your logic uh, case for the first time because this is a case if, if business functionality gets changed this is the first thing that you get noticed on that so if you are using any of the library so you you often you have to run your whole test so that if, if you without unnoticingly if a developer a works on and developer b changes the business logic and if you are deploying that pipeline and you will get to notice that and before you dip, before the deployment i can say you if you have any uh, devops implemented at your side that is a very good to have because i and you can actually break down your test in a component to have a describe block if you are writing any like example if you are rendering any buttons which is fine but if you are testing any logic, like if you are uh, clicking on the button and you want to see to calculate something and you want to see something, you I would recommend to have a proper uh, describe blocks which describes each each uh, functionality that you are going to test, and uh, it is always easy to track. And uh, each uh, assertion or that you do, uh, it will be in the test block, so that 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 is easy to identify, and you can. Uh, break down as much as you are test uh, possible in each uh, describe so that you have ample enough uh, uh, 
attached that you can able to modify and always there is a principle actually uh, to follow with a triple a we say uh how that is arrange act and uh, how's it so what does it mean it's like you arrange your orders arrange your order of test and then you can act according to your then then and you can asset asset as in like what you expect and what is not getting and it's always to do uh, uh positive testing and negative testing so that will help you to find if something is that it's it's like if you are passing a props and if your component is behaving should behave like a something you expect most often every everyone does like uh you see that whether the props are getting passed or not but you see if a props x y z is passing and you see the how the component is rendering which the if the prop kbc is getting passed and uh, you also need to see how the component is should not be able so this is the comp this is a false negation component of uh, negotiation uh you notation that you need to do so in it's 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 uh this is a case uh where we often uh forward but this is a thing we it's always at least on the logic part if i ask if you ask me i would recommend to do a uh, kind of uh, positive and uh, negative cases to this will help you in a further way when this kind of cases arises yeah interesting that's how really i will yeah sometimes like uh in my company it's actually like uh so we like doing the unit testing over and over the logic is like mm. changes is always changing but yeah. it's, it's, it's tiring you yeah. know changing everything codes <laughs> right right and then i would you can also uh, if you are going through a, like uh, if you are using an integration test this will also help you to find uh, if any selectors are getting changed so you can uh, you can rather than component testing if, if you go with this unit testing uh, uh, you can find the integration test more helpful if, if you came in, if you are coming across that situation more often yeah and even exactly. the automation is also safe because but it depends upon how we write our code mm -hmm. so uh, when your next talk to talking about the testing <laughs> hopefully <laughs> soon i i am still uh, uh, get taking some time yeah. uh, but at the same time i am trying to explore uh, more uh, on the same uh, any other conferences but hoping sometime soon i would like to because i'm also gaining a lot of knowledge on that time uh -huh. at the same time i'm happy yeah. to uh, share my learnings to other people so uh, do you think like what's your next uh, milestones or achievement that you want to to achieve this year maybe getting more sp uh, speak at conference yeah i i i feel like so yes i wanted to speak more on this one and at the same time uh -huh. it's like i i also have a other thing that i wanted to build something as a mm -hmm. i i am using a courser sometime and the courser is an application where you can build your multi level platform with a one uh, code so yeah. that is one of my uh, next goal to achieve and uh, promote I and mean, uh, discuss about in this in you know, a further talks and uh, yeah i am also gaining some uh, exposure on uh, next js so which is <coughs> uh, which is my primary thing i am I'm, i'm doing I'm focusing now and uh, yeah i at the out of this ideas i was like still working on front end but i'm uh, just focusing on back end uh, not much but much at the moment but yeah i'm trying to achieve my I expect my knowledge on the back end with a dot net exposure so that because uh, in the current trend you need to upgrade yourself without yeah, it's, it's exactly. difficult to uh, get things so the it go, it's going to be the same principle that you learn from but the way of writing the code is getting style change so i would always recommend including me i motivate myself to upgrade yourself whenever you are having some time because this is a generation of ai we yes. cannot assure exactly mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> are you like planning to learn another languages like other than javascript maybe ras the sexist language in right now yeah so maybe yeah, yeah, yeah. I, i see a uh, resolution for this year learning ras learning ras i don't know what's <laughs> the trend about the ras 
Yeah. Yeah, I particularly don't keep any resolution because the resolutions will remain like a resolutions. So yeah. <laughs> either uh, you either you should forget the resolution and whatever you do is a kind of resolution because resolution is something uh, that that's um uh, might might i can say it's like people say but it's uh, sometimes they won't make it so maybe rather than resolution keep it as a goal so when a goal as in your career goal so that it will help you uh, personally and uh, when uh, in, a, in your career point of view yeah exactly exactly yeah it's it's really interesting that uh, the talking with you but Uh, the time is fly so uh do you think like you have any words or advice for developer out there to uh, learn about programming or already learn about programming uh, programming but they want to upgrading their the skills or anything like that right so learning is a continuous thing so every day is a kind of new learning that we see so whether you do the same work i would um, you try to do that in a different way so uh yeah that same i echo again it's like upgrading yourself and trying trying to make a new thing every uh every day so that it will feels it will feels you interesting to do more and more to achieve in your things that's that's uh the current um, lifestyle of me and i'm trying to do the same Yes, exactly. Upgrading skills, upgrading yourself. You know, you can achieve to do your next level of your yourself. Yes, yes. And uh, during the talk, I mean, during the conference, I met. I mean, including you, and I met many people, right? So everyone has a different uh, uh, a carry goals and different uh, way of uh, thinking. But all of them is like. i i see like everyone is very far behind of uh, the technology i mean far advanced with the technology and uh, having a good uh, architecture point of view so it's like the more you <clears throat> do the more you can get to know of the things right yeah yeah exactly like uh, joining the networking with the communities uh, right. around yeah. your cities uh, around your country and yeah. best your location yeah. so yes. so nice to All right. Yes. So, oh, the the time is so short. So maybe we can do another chat with another person. Maybe I will bring yeah. another <laughs> cool developers. Mm-hmm. Let's let's mm-hmm. yeah, let's let's meet again, uh, Sandeep. Okay. So see you, yeah, see you guys. Thank you, yeah. Ryan, for your time. It thank you, nice thank you, thank you. Yes, thanks again mm-hmm. for the uh, for your time for. Uh, to spare your time in uh, joining okay, that's fine. in yeah. the code of yes appreciate it appreciate all right thank you. thank you for attention you. see you in the next episode peace and bye bye salam